Well, here in Louisiana, the month of October is usually when the temperatures start to drop. Yeah, it's already gotten below 70 one night, so I'd say it's getting chilly. And joining us now is Taylor Fry with this week's Ag Minute. And you've got chili, but not spelled with a Y. No, it's National Chili Month, the kind you eat. And chili recipes are a dime a dozen. No one's recipe is the same. But after eating a delicious bowl of chili, the outcome is usually the same. A full stomach and a warm soul. is in the air and so is the smell of chili. Most chili dishes start with the basic base of meat and tomatoes, but some recipes can be very complex with vegetables, beans, and other ingredients too. There's a great debate out there. A lot of people wonder where chili first came from. Interestingly, no one really knows. Some say the first chili recipe came from Texas while others say New Mexico. One thing is certain though, that the mixture of meat, beans, peppers, and herbs was known to the Incas, Aztecs, and Mayan Indians long before Columbus stepped foot in the New World. There's always someone out there who thinks they have the best chili recipe around. Maybe that's even you. Well, there's chili cook-offs throughout the year if you want to put your chili recipe to the test. Or maybe you just want to cook some for yourself and celebrate National Chili Month. Believe it or not, there's even an international chili society. Every year they host hundreds of chili cook-offs around the U.S. And this year the World Championship Chili Cook-Off is October 16th through the 18th in Reno, Nevada. For more information about the International Chili Society and some delicious recipes, check out our website, twilighttv.org. Now moving on to this week's Twilight Trivia. Last week's question was, in 2007, the Guinness Book of World Records named one corn maze the largest of all. Where is it located? And the correct answer is A, Dixon, California. This week's question is, what tool measures a chili pepper's heat? Is it A, a thermometer, B, a weighing scale, or C, the Scoville scale? To enter this week's Twilight Trivia Contest, just log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer on our website, twilighttv.org. Still to come on Twilight, we get the bottom line on what you're paying at the grocery store. Stay with us.